Morning everybody, we're headed up to a spot back here in the mountains. This mountain right here is Mount Princeton, one of the collegiate, collegiate peaks. It's over uh, 14,000 foot. And those are the chalk cliffs. We'll be going right by them. And then right over here is Mount Antero and Mount White. Antero is where they get some of the best aquamarines in the world. So we're going to be heading back here to a gold mine. We'll see you in a few. And I don't know how good you can see, but this is the hot springs pool up here. Right next to Chalk, uh, Chalk Creek. There's a big lodge up here somewhere. Mount Princeton Hot Springs. And they've got a big place to eat here. It's pretty beautiful up here. You got the chalk cliffs just right there. They're pretty magnificent when the sun's hitting them good. Pretty hazy today with all the fires we got in this end of the country here. All right, back in a bit. Get this sign. This area here is uh, a real dangerous area. You can see the sign. If there's water running in this dip, do not go in it because when it comes through here, there we just had you can see there's three foot of stuff there I just had one here about four days ago they channeled the water to come down through here oops sorry so you don't and Stan here was right above this dip one time when it did go and he said it was crazy yes sir <laughs> he had to back up with the trees and the rocks coming down it comes down from way way back here you'll see how far we're going back there's beautiful here there's homes and everything all back here on the mountainside so we'll give you some more views when it opens up here a bit back in a bit there's some more of the chalk lifts Supposed to be buried Spanish treasure here somewhere, and nobody's ever found it. This road stays paved for oh, quite a while, but it turns to dirt. And there are several mines up here. The Mary Murphy is the biggest one back here, and most of them are all gold mines. And we're going to be back in here about, I don't know, 20 miles. 15 miles. Alright, we'll see us in a bit. Oh, some deer just ran across the road. Oh, there's another one coming. Little buck, little buck. Yeah, they disappeared. And we got humans up here. What are you doing there, honey? Just look at this, these views here, people. It's a pretty rugged country. Just about to run out of pavement. Oh, Cascade Falls, where are those? Oh, right here. I thought they were a little more magnificent. But... Well, the water's low now. Yeah, when this water's boiling down here, it's, <laughs> it's pretty cool. All right, back in a bit. All right, guys, we're off the pavement. Not much to see, it's pretty, got a lot of trees. But there's a couple lakes back here. The route we're going goes up to Pomeroy Lake, and then there's another trail you can take that goes to Hancock Lake. And there's a ghost town back here, St. Elmo. It's pretty cool back here, there's a lot to see. 
chip marks if you've seen that one. Alright. Okay, so we'll get back when there's something else to show you. Alright, this would be the mill side of the Mary Murphy mine. That's where they chip the ore, most of it, down to there and was there railroad tracks down well, here? We were, we're driving on the... Oh, that's yeah. right. We're on the railroad grade here. But anyway, as you can see, they've done reclamation, cleaned it up. And we're going to be going up to the actual, well, to the midway point here soon. All right, back in a bit. All right, here's a railroad trussle that went off this way. There's a big building up there someplace. Can't see it really, but anyways, there's a picture of the trussle that goes across. Still standing from 1880s. Pretty cool. And there's the creek. And this is railroad grade here too. It just split off over here to go up to that mill or another mill site that's just up right above. All right, we'll have some pictures from up above in a few. And there's a sign, and we're now we're heading up. We'll be up to our location here in one mile. This is the roughest part. Road's really good all the way up until right there, and even this part of it isn't that bad. And Stan, he's a veteran driver up in these mountains. You can drive up them and back down them. <laughs> so, we'll get back to you here when we get up to uh, the Mary Murphy Mine. I'll show you. Well, it's not the Mary Murphy Mine. We're going to be at the tram station. It's, it's uh, like in between. The mine's actually another probably a thousand feet up the mountain. So, we'll be, we'll be back here in a few. And this is one of the tram towers, what's left of it, right on the side of the road. And there's a bunch more of these that tram the, the gold down the mountain. Alright, and here's Chalk Creek again. Here's an old cabin here. And then right up here is another old cabin. This is a placer site, I think. It's my, it's claimed. And there's signs, private property. But they had some mill work going here. You can see the hand stacked walls, keeping that cabin alive. They had an operation going here. There was so much mining up here. It's incredible. I'd like to metal detect around there, but it's private property. So, all right, we're almost to where we're going. See you in a few. Okay, this is the tram station. Sorry about the sun there, but there's where the tram would come down to this place, and then it would make a turn in the building and go over this way, down to that mill we were at below. And then the mine's way up there. You can see one of the tram towers up there. The mine just way up there. And we're not, we can't go up there, roads are closed. But they reclamated this area. And then this building, not sure what this was, it was probably just the maintenance shack. And there was, may, could have been some housing here. But it's a pretty cool old building. And I go up here and you can see this building still pretty much intact, falling down. And I go up here and you can look. You can look at this and pause on it and read everything here so you know a little bit more than what I'm telling you. And 
Yeah, but here's a, a deal of it. But you can go ahead and pause, read this stuff if you want to. But this shows just how everything worked or what was in it. And there's a picture of it when it was all there. And that's this spot right here. And we're going to start metal detecting just right around this hump. There's no building. So we'll see you there. And you can see the boiler right there. There was some oh, there was a building here. They recommended all this, so a lot of the structures are gone. And we're gonna be just up oh right about there is where we're going. Just another 150 feet. You can see some more of this building. This was big doings here back in the day. And there's a little bit of a building right over here. And if you go up over this ridge on the other side is the town of Hancock. It's an old ghost town and a bunch of mines over there. So, Alright, be metal detecting here soon. Back in a bit. Okay, you can see the glass. Here's a little eyelet from a boot. Lots of glass. We're up here last week. I didn't get the video. But there's so much stuff laying around. Piece of leather. All kinds of glass and pottery. Oh, here's a button surface find right there there's another part of a button from overalls suspenders so there's lots of stuff here we I found just right up here where we're going there's a site found all kinds of uh, Buttons and uh, suspender straps or, or suspender buckles. There's another button. There's lots of stuff here. I'll show you all the other stuff I found too um, at the end of the video. So there's lots of stuff around here. Pretty sure this is pretty virgin. Nobody's probably hunted it. There's just stuff scattered everywhere. Ugh. You can see there's more wood here. There was some little thing right here. It's part of an old building. And there's where so we're at up there. But I found part of a pocket watch and uh, a lot of buttons and stuff. I metal detected kind of quick because the weather was coming in. It may come in on us today too. It's right here. We're about uh, well, right around 11,000 feet, 11.2. Uh, go up here and I'll show you this other building. Be back in a second.